the government of Western Australia. Know this. We value and defend multiculturalism in Western Australia. We benefit from multiculturalism. The McGowan state government will defend our communities from any assault on multiculturalism and we will root out and we will prosecute anyone who threatens anyone in our community. One of the great strengths of Western Australia and the Australian nation is the freedom we enjoy as a consequence of the legacy we've inherited from previous generations. Under our law, everybody is free to practice their religion. We value that freedom and we will defend it. We also, as a state, value the contribution made by all of our communities. I believe that the Arab Western Australian community provide an incredible enrichment of our society. You bring with you your culture, your knowledge, your links to your homelands that we can benefit from. You will enable all of us to reach out to the world from Western Australia and grow relationships and build our economy and our relationships to the benefit of everybody in society. And that is a great thing. This, this festival is a wonderful contribution. I'd like to thank Salim and all of the Australian Arab Association for last year's event, for this year's, but next year's will be bigger and better than this. We will be building on this event and making it a significant event on our state calendar which will not just celebrate culture, but will also enable greater links between the Arab world and Western Australia for all of our benefit. Enjoy the day. Thank you very much for allowing us to be here. Have a wonderful evening. Thank you. A minute's silence for those lost in the terrible terrorist attack in Christchurch. Thank you very much. And perhaps for those people, this has actually been an opportunity for them to see. To see the people of Arabic background, of Muslim faith, that they are just humans like all of us. That in fact, the Islamic faith is one that especially promotes the love of mankind, of humankind, promotes dignity, promotes compassion, wonderful human qualities. Those qualities are now on display for the whole world to see. And I think many people will be realizing that we're all humans together. And that is something that we can all be proud of, that as we go forward dealing, going through the grieving process, that we do become more united than ever. Ladies and gentlemen, leaving behind those sad thoughts of Christchurch, I've now got a duty to present to the ambassador of the Australian Arab Association, to Mr. Salim Youssef, I've got a duty to present to him a certificate from Lottery West that uh, is in recognition of all the achievements that have made this event happen. And it is a uh, contribution towards the financing of this event. So Salim, congratulations to you and your team on bringing together this event. And if I can hand over to you this certificate from Lotteries West. And for those of you who can't read it from there, it is a... Uh, a contribution of $25,000 to the Australian Arab Association in recognition of all the work that you do but as a, uh, a gesture towards the financing of an event like this as well. So thank you very much and well done, Salim. Well done, all of the AAA team. Thank you. For, you know, much has been said about uh, the terrible uh, happenings in Christchurch. 
And I'd just like to say on behalf of the State Liberal Party uh, that it, our, our hearts and minds and thoughts are very much with uh, the Muslim community, not only in New Zealand and Australia, but worldwide as we deal with this tragedy. Amal, thank you for pushing forward with this event this week. I think it's really important that we continue to celebrate the multicultural state that we are, because every single person who has been a migrant to this country, which is nearly all of us except the first, uh, the first um, uh, inhabitants, the, 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 the Aboriginal people, every single one of us has been a migrant to this country. And every single one of us, at some point in our history, has come here to find a new life for ourselves. And that's what we celebrate today with this beautiful event. So thank you for the invitation to be here and I hope to um, continue with my, my long friendship with the Arab Association of Western Australia. Now I'd like to ask um, the Honourable Matt Keogh, Federal Member for Burt, to come up and say a few words. Please put your heads together for Matt. Good evening, everybody. I would like to start by also paying my respects uh, to Elders past and present of our local Indigenous community here, the Wujuk people, the great Noongar Nation, whose lands we meet on here on the banks of the Durbal Yerrigan. Without saying uh, and acknowledging the terrible terrorist attack that happened in Christchurch, an attack on our brothers and sisters as Australians, an attack on our Muslim brothers and sisters in particular. And in Australia, as a great diverse country, an attack that is on any of our brothers and sisters is something that we hold deeply here in our hearts. And it's why we in Australia in particular, but across the whole world, have expressed sorrow and passed on our condolences, but also stood in solidarity with the victims of these atrocious attacks. And why I and so many of our other community leaders attended mosques across uh, Perth today myself. No community should feel apart within our Australian community. And it's why the work of the Australian Arab Association, which is headquartered in my electorate of Burt, and I am so proud to have them as part of the Burt community and our Western Australian community. It's why their work is so important. Because it's about celebrating the diversity of our great nation together.